Togo instrumentalization of justice, until when, in a statement, Dynamique MGR Podsro, DMK, spoke about the convictions of journalists Isidore Kawona and Ferdinand Ayate, disgusted, she denounces an instrumentation of justice to muzzle the critical Togolese press. The DMK demands an end to the legal harassment against the two journalists and the annulment of this unique judgment against them. Reading, press release from Dynamics Sir, Kpodzro, DMK, condemning journalists or Togo NIT is time for Togolian magistrates to have courage to end the instrumentalization of justice in our country on Wednesday, the 15th of March, 2023. The Lomé High Court sentenced journalists Ferdinand and AYT and Isidore Kawona respectively Director of Publication and Editor-in-Chief of the Newspaper Alternative, to sentences of 3, 0, 3 years in prison and 3 million francs for alleged offences of defamation and abuse of authority. Togolese magistrates have driven their zeal to issue arrest warrants to journalists who are just doing their jobs, meaning that the accused are wanted to be thrown in jail for defamation offences of de facto government members. The two, zero, 02 journalists, who felt the danger, had to take shelter to avoid humiliation and degrading treatment, including their physical removal, which is customary by the regime. The dynamic Monsignor Podsro, DMK, strongly protests against this condemnation of journalists which is nothing but a flat rate and a denial of justice. She rebels against this judicial stiffness against critical journalists in our country and supports Ferdinand and AYT and Isidore Kauwo now, their families and their collaborators. The DMK is appalled that while all countries are making efforts to strengthen their institutions and promote democracy and good governance, the Togolese judiciary continues to serve as an arm of the 50-year nasing dictatorship to crush political opponents and all the critical journalists. How do you understand that the Togolese judiciary seems to ignore the many cases of embezzlement of public funds that journalist Ferdinand and AYT and his colleagues are working on, among others the files of Petrolgate? Kovacet and many other financial scandals as well as the many cases of unsolved murders in our country including that of Colonel Tisan Bitala Majoba, and rather goes hard against journalists who only denounce the unorthodox behaviours of ministers who claim to be men of God who are supposed to convey values of justice and equity in their daily behaviour. The DMK invites Togolese magistrates to get together to finally give back to our justice, its letters of nobility as a defender of the weak and the last bastion against the abuse and impunity of the strong. The DMK demands from Foray Nassim Bay's government to stop the instrumentation of justice and urges judges to make their decisive contributions to building the rule of law that all Togolese dream of. This contribution is necessarily through their courage to break free from the harmful and destructive influences of the present governors who have no other purpose than to preserve state power at all costs to the citizens. The DMK asks the government of Foray Nassim Bay to stop all legal harassment against journalists Ferdinand and AYT and Isidore Kauwo now by having this unique judgment against them cancelled. The DMK calls on all human rights organizations, press organizations around the world and the entire Togolese population to mobilize to support Ferdinand and AYT and Isidore Kauwo now to fail this plan of the muzzle of the Togo press on the serious economic crimes and other human rights violations, of which the 50-year dictatorship of the Nasing has been guilty of for over 58 years in Togo, made in Lomé on 16 March, 2023 Conference of Presidents.